This is MMA Outbreak. Okay, let's move on to another fight from that UFC 148 card. It's an interesting scrap at middleweight between Michael Bisping and Tim Bosch. I'm going to open up Bisping minus 315. The comeback on Tim Bosch is going to be plus 2 to 45. So, John Luther, I'm going to start with you first. Go ahead and give me your thoughts on this one. That is a tempting line for Tim Bosch. And I, I was tempted to take it, but, you know... Michael Bisping has converted me to to a believer into whatever he's doing, man. He I, once upon a time I legitimately thought that he was a guy who, as soon as he ran into anybody who was really good at 185, he was going to lose. I mean, we saw it against Dan Henderson. We thought that was the end of the line for him, but uh, he he's made a comeback and he's turned that notion around. At least for me, I mean, he's a big middleweight. Um, he's got he's been able to maintain his speed as well as uh, his cardiovascular you know pace, which is amazing. Um, he's a great kickboxer and actually he's a pretty damn good wrestler. We saw that against Chel Sonnen. So you know I, I had the pleasure to talk to Tim about this fight and he thinks it's a favorable matchup because of the wrestling and the size advantage. But I don't think that those advantages are going to play out the way he thinks that they are. And I think Michael Bisping's going to make it a long night and take all three rounds against him. So I'm taking Mike here. All right, good stuff from John Luther on Michael Bisping. So you are going to lay the juice. It's going to be $15.75 to win $500. Now let's throw it over to Zach Arnold. Zach, what do you think in this fight? I did not see anything from Michael Bisping at all in the Chael Sonner fight that gave me any sort of indication or comfort level as far as his ability to have an offensive fight. I mean, especially against a guy like Tim Balch, who's going to put it right to him. He's going to make him make a decision in, in the cage. You know, it's not going to be three rounds of running around, hitting away, and circling to the right and hitting away. Tim Balch is going to go, and he's going to lay the leather. Whether, whether he goes out on a shield or he knocks the guy out, there's going to be a finish to this fight. It's not going to distance. All right, so you're going to go with the dog here. You're going to take the plus 245. It's going to be 500 to win 1225. So our guest today split on this fight, as I think a lot of the public will out there too. So we'll see how it uh, all plays out. Well, that's it for another episode of MMA Odds Breakers. Thanks a lot for joining us. And thanks to our special guests, John Luther and Zach Arnold. Great job as always. Like I said before, you don't get better information than you get from those guys. Thanks, guys. And for those interested in keeping up with the Ozbreaker Show, make sure you follow us on Twitter, at MMA Ozbreaker, for all the latest updates. For Miguel Literati, I'm Nick Kalika saying until next time, enjoy the fights.